describe the, the sort of process of bringing Wolfman to life for us? Well, you know what? Right? Okay, I mean, it's what I did in this film wasn't all that different from what Jack Pierce did in, in the original film, really. I mean, I. I wanted, to, and I was really glad to hear that they wanted it to be a man in a makeup and not a, a CG werewolf running around. Uh, I mean, I, I, mean I, I like CG stuff and I think there's some really cool things, but this is the wolf man and I really felt this is the best approach for this movie. I mean, there's a real magic that happens when you get a really good actor in a really good makeup. And I mean, he looks at himself in the mirror and he sees that he's a wolf man. So, so it's pretty much, you know, stick a rubber nose on him and glue some hair on him. There's a lot of the hair laying. And, and, uh, um, so it's pretty old school, and I think that's what's going to make this film really cool, actually, that it is old school. It's a classic gothic horror movie. Awesome. Well, uh, we have a surprise for you. Yeah, we actually have a, a surprise guest here. Um, the uh, female lead in The Wolfman, the uh, Evelyn Anchors to uh, Benicio de, de Toro's uh, Lon Chaney Jr., we have uh, Emily Blunt. Really? It's cool. How are we going to see it? 